Hi everyone, so what I've done here is disassembled uh, one of those massive controllers that I got for the electric bike project or electric tractor project and uh, it's quite simple, you just need to take out all the screws on the top uh, and all the ones on the end and then just break the seal with uh, a razor blade and then just pull the whole thing out. So my reason for doing this is just to see what microcontroller it's using and if it could maybe be reprogrammed by someone. Um, so I did a little bit of looking, looking around. Um, so it's using the STM8S105S4T6C microcontroller, which is that big chip there. Uh, we've got an LM339, which is probably some quad voltage comparator, and we've also got I think that might be an LM358 um, and the way it generates a 5 volt and 3.3 volt power for itself by the looks of things is possibly as probably done here that looks like a switching converter there like just a switch mode power supply which uh, takes the 80 or so volts of the battery down um, just pretty much an H bridge inverter so you've got like probably the high side and low side of the H bridge there um, for each each phase. So that would be phase one, two, and three. And as you can see, the uh, phase cables are soldered to that. Uh, as for programming this, I don't know where the programming header would be. Uh, all you'd have to do is look up the data sheet of that chip. There's pin one there. And then you just have to go along the traces and find out where they are. Um, I think these microcontrollers, the ST ones, I think someone has managed to program this via the Arduino IDE. Uh, so you should probably be able to reprogram this somehow. But sadly that's far beyond my capabilities at the moment. Um, however, I am looking into developing my own inverter with regenerative braking but it may be possible to reprogram this uh, someone more knowledgeable than me could maybe do it and uh, hopefully add regen to this because in my previous video I showed how simple regenerative braking uh, actually appears to be so that's a possible programming header there and so is that now, provided they don't have code protection features or whatever on this, you should be able to reprogram it. I think maybe manufacturers can add write protection, so the only way to actually reprogram this is to maybe desolder the chip and put a new one in. Uh, but I don't think it would come to that. But yeah, otherwise it looks like uh, a very well constructed controller. Um, I'm, I'm sure if one was to replace all these MOSFETs uh, with the uh, the IRFB4110 ones which are quite common, commonly used there, uh, you'd be able to get ridiculous power out of this, uh, probably be able to double it to 6 kilowatts easily, um, but I'm not going to be doing that, it's uh, too expensive at the moment, so there we go, that's pretty much all we've got to it, I'm just trying to give you a clearer view there um, of everything. That's pretty much all there is to it. So there we go. I hope you found that interesting.